everyone. Welcome to Vedantu Malayalam channel. This is Sana Khan, your math master teacher. And today I have brought for you last minute's exam checklist and motivation doors before your Keem 2023 exam. I know that our hearts are now fluttering with all the excitement and, and all the nervousness that finally the Keem exam is here. We have been waiting for it for so long. We have been preparing for it from so long. So now is the time to perform, right? So yes, let's have a look at some last moment checklist that we should take care of before our exam, during our exam and a little dose of motivation also for you so that you boost up your self-confidence and while writing the exam you are not at all nervous okay so if you are somebody new on the channel don't forget to subscribe for more such exam tips studies class 11th and 12th lectures of physics maths chemistry and biology and many more competitive exam preparations all right come on now let's start our final checklist before our final exams are you all ready for this let me know in the chat box quickly okay now exam time can be a lot of stressful for us right uh, basically in the last minute we feel like have i completed everything is there anything i can do extra is there any chapter i can read or maybe just go through that will help me basically get any last moment ideas or something like that so one night before exam we panic a lot but that should be avoided at all cost see being underconfident or being nervous will never help you in turn it is going to basically uh, make you even do silly mistakes in the exam okay so don't be stressful and nervous i know it's like you'll say ma'am how can we not be stressful by having a self-belief believe that whatever you have studied till now that much you are going to perform in the exam not more than that not less than that so that is enough for you whatever hard work you have done you will get the benefit nobody can take away your hard work right if you have not done hard work it's fine maybe the paper is easy this time maybe your guessing game will be good this time so even for that don't worry now is not the time to worry now is the time to relax and believe in yourself okay next make sure that before the exam, you go through all the formula cheat sheets we have provided in the Minnal Kim series for physics, chemistry and maths because most of the questions are formula based in Kim exam. They are not concept based, like uh, not much theory is asked. Mostly, of course, in maths, everything is formula based, but in physics, chemistry also. Chemistry is theory, but again in physics, most of the things will be formula based, right? Next, spend enough time on the topics which you are good at in the last moment. Generally, what we do, we go through the chapters. We feel that I don't know this chapter. Maybe I'll just go through it once and whatever I can learn, maybe I can answer questions from that. And what happens is if you have a little knowledge and little idea about the chapter, you try to attempt the question in the exam, but you will not be able to solve it. So that will result in your time waste. Rather, the chapters which you are good at. So good chapters are basically which you have practiced a lot, which you have learned already. Focus on those chapters more and more so that they will build up your confidence. Secondly, they will only give you the ultimate marks you need for your chem exam. Okay, next, don't pick up anything which is brand new for you. In the last day, on the last night, don't pick up anything which is new. Don't learn any new chapter, any new formula, which you will be difficult, like view, it will be very difficult to store that. Suppose you see a formula once, it is very difficult to remember it in the exam. Formulas are something you need to see again and again and again. So don't try to understand anything new in the last moment. If you go for learning something new, 
you will forget what you have already learned so your brain basically has limited storage in the last few days not everything can be just dumped inside it so uh, don't just go for dumping things go for it like you are basically aiming for the things to do better in the exam where you have already prepared okay nothing new in the last moment next be on time on your exam date everybody has this tendency we think that okay uh, if 11 am is uh, our exam time will reach by 10 30 10 45 will start generally they will give you they will ask you to report half an hour before exam secondly many times you can face problem just yesterday it happened with one of my cousin she was going to give her competitive exam and what happened is with the cab she was going that cab uh, the tire somehow got punctured and because she had one hour extra in her hand she could reach on time what if you start with exact timing in your mind that i have to reach at 10 30 i'll start at 9 30 one hour i'll reach what if something should not happen but what if there is a traffic jam what if the car breaks down or uh, something else happens then you should have extra time always because last moment panic will make you so nervous so stressed that you'll be like uh, uh, what am i going to do am i even going to get the entry in the exam and in all of that you will basically forget so many things you have learned okay so please be on time please be prepared next have you downloaded your admit card have you checked your exam location your exam center location have you checked on the google maps how much time it is taking to reach there generally you should check for example your exam is at 11 o'clock you check during 9 30 10 30 at that time today only you check or tomorrow you check at how much traffic it is there if you check at night they will show less traffic obviously you should check at peak traffic time how much time is it showing and you should be prepared in advance check your admit card before how much time they are asking to report it's very important so go through them thoroughly check them thoroughly then only you will be able to reach properly on time with confidence okay next get everything ready now itself take your parents help siblings help friends help your own help prepare your stationery box generally now in the exams they do not allow opaque boxes i'm not sure about keem exam but generally they ask for a transparent box nothing should be written on your eraser your pen pencil blue pen black pen everything should be double so that if one goes wrong you have another right so prepare your stationery as well have a good transparent water bottle please do not take opaque water bottle dark colored water bottles don't take them transparent plastic water bottles are fine okay take your admit card and two xerox two photocopies of your admit card must be with you at any cost take multiple copies keep one copy with you one copy with your parents whoever is going to leave you to the exam center they should have extra copy what if water goes in your admit card oil goes in your admit card they don't allow you to sit in exam it will be complete wastage right so prepare well in advance don't do this on the last day do this today or tomorrow okay next on the day of exam and before the day of exam have a light balanced meal very light home cooked food no like masala or oil or this and that no spice just have a light cooked meal and hydrate yourself one day before the exam very nicely on the day of exam don't drink too much of water before your exam because in the exam then you'll be like you want to go to washroom all the time so don't drink a lot of water before exam before one day at night or in morning you can drink water so that you're already fresh before going to exam center 
okay so be hydrated because hydration is also very important for your proper brain functioning otherwise you will get headache you will feel nauseous your eyes will start getting irritated so be hydrated nicely one day before exam okay next please make sure that by mistake also any written material any paper any digital uh generally they don't allow digital watch they allow analog watches only any mobile phone calculator they are not allowed in the exam so please check even by mistake your pocket is not having any such things sometimes it happens we are wearing an old shirt and in the pocket some chit some paper some ration card bill is there they will they can create scene out of it the invigilators can create scene out of it so please be very careful check your clothes properly okay next never ever even think of using erasers markers or whiteners or tipex to erase the bubble and circle it new it is of no use nobody is going to give marks suppose you have four boxes you have circled wrong box then you have to leave it as it is no need to put whitener on this and then circle this box you if you do na that oh this is wrong answer this is right answer by mistake i have written this no use the examiner the checker the examining machine will not consider it generally the omr sheets are crossed through a machine machine does not read all this nonsense they will discard it so if you have marked the answer wrong it's wrong nothing can be done don't use any whitener at all now during the exam two things keep in your mind at the beginning of the exam when you get the question paper take proper deep breath read the instruction carefully when they give you 15 minutes to read the question paper at that time do no need to think what others are doing or uh, am i feeling stressful or uh, what is going to come am i going to uh, solve it or not nothing just look at your omr sheet fill your name roll number every detail properly if you have any doubt ask the invigilator for your help they have to help you they cannot say that oh i can't tell you what you have to write about you know they have they will help you ask them politely that i am not able to fill my name or omr sheet or anything read the questions very very carefully every question should be read with carefulness don't read half question and start solving it okay and at the beginning itself a lot of time for solving each question at the beginning itself you create a mindset that in one and a half hour i'll complete this much in next half hour i'll complete this much in next half hour i'll complete this much have a complete idea of how you are going to attempt the paper how much time you will spend on each question okay next during the exam when you are facing any problem you cannot concentrate or you are feeling too nervous like maybe you are doing something like this maybe you are doing something like this or you are just thinking 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 if you are having a feeling like that take a break it's fine to take a break okay take a break close your eyes relax yourself or just take deep breaths and tell yourself you can do it it's fine what you are doing even if you are not able to do it's going to be fine we have other exams we have other opportunities it's fine and if you are feeling stuck in a question you feel that uh you can solve it you can solve it but your mind is just not allowing you to think in that direction take a break from that question and start another question okay so whenever you feel like that some question is bothering you some formula is bothering you and if you are feeling very anxious leave that question put a star mark put a cross anything and just move forward to the next question do not waste time at all again and again i am telling you okay next
what is most important while giving your exam self belief see all the formulas all the theory you have learned the minnal keem series is over the one shot series is over we have learned everything we have seen all the formulas all the pyqs we have seen all the theories everything so now is not the time to think that what have we done what we could have done no now is the time to just have a belief whatever i have learned till now is sufficient for me and i can do it i will do it and i am doing very nice job even if you are not able to question i'm not able to answer just think it's okay if i'm not scoring more than 200 it's okay i'll do guessing game at the end i'll just go and guess some answers which i feel i can answer so have that confidence that in any situation it's fine whatever happens happens leave it okay have a very positive mind frame that's what i was talking now so self belief is important and positive mindset is important that no matter what happens these two and a half hours i will give my best i will go through all the 120 questions whatever i can solve i will solve and mark the answer after that whatever i think i can solve i will try doing them and after that if i still feel that i have not done enough question then we can try to guess the answer so have that positive mindset that whatever happens i will try i will try this i will try that but i will try and everything will be fine for those two and a half hours i am just giving my best so have that positive mindset during your entire exam and before your exam just have that positive mindset that no matter what i am going to rock it i am going to give my best and something good will come out of it have that belief and i am telling you you can do it you have practiced for it you have prepared for it you have done hard work for it so you can do it okay so just relax no stress at all eat good sleep good and be prepared reach on time that's all you have to do nothing apart from that nothing apart from that okay so on the last day now you know what you have to do if you want to practice question practice if you want to revise revise whatever you want whatever you feel like doing just do that no extra things no stress no worries that can uh, i can take time for this can i take time for that uh, should i sleep late at night and revise two ch extra chapters no no waking up late at night you have to sleep by 10 pm maximum 11 pm not late than that okay so now guys we have prepared everything we have done everything and we are going to do super awesome in the exam let's rock came 2023 all the three subjects i have full faith on you guys that you have done your best you have prepared your best you have basically given your everything to all the three subjects and now we are just going to leave it on the question paper and the examiner whatever happens happens we have done our work and we are going to rock right so all the very best and i'm sure that you guys will do great so that's all tomorrow also we will bring one session where we will basically practice questions see formulas and help you basically solve your doubts anything that you want okay so we are there with you till the end don't worry at all all right all the very best thank you for watching the video see you tomorrow bye bye